Hey Earthlings! In today's episode, I'll try to answer the question of how to get started with JavaScript programming. To write code in JavaScript all you need is a browser. Almost all web browsers allow you to write code in JS. If you are using Windows, you can use the browser installed by default on the system, which is Edge, and is nothing like Internet Explorer from a few years ago, in Blanket on the Blink Engine from Google. Or fire up your favorite browser Chrome, Firefox, Opera, Vivaldi, Brave or Safari and press F12 or Ctrl Shift I to go to the console. You can also use various websites that allow you to write code even more conveniently than in a pure console. The second approach to enjoy the charms of JS requires installing Node. Installation comes down to clicking the Next button and should not cause anyone any problems. Then, depending on your skills, you have several paths. If you're a sweeper, which on Friday nights translates hacking into the neighborhood kids' network over watching the game at the bar, then your choice is Emacs versus Vim. Two religions, two worlds. I, for one, am a follower of Vim. And although with this coming out I lost forever the multitude of staunch followers of the program written by Guru Richard Stallman, let my argument for Vim be the results of the annual Stack Overflow report, where in the last list the number of AMAX respondents was almost equal to the faction of Vim calling themselves NeoVims. And pure Vim developers were five times as many as Emacs developers. Plus Vi is automatically implemented in most Linux distributions. And the fact that a hacker in the hood takes on systems running Penguin Tux or the BSD daemon, everyone probably knows. If you don't fall into the first category and have your internet cut off then you can still program right away. Fire up Notepad. In the long run it is not the best solution. It does not prompt, does not color syntax, will not highlight errors. If you absolutely want to use a program with Notepad in the name then you'd better choose Notepad++. Atom is the first sensible product to start with. It has open source and is written in 88% JavaScript, and I think that means something. It can be extended and customized to suit you. But then it can get a bit heavy and on an older machine I wouldn't fire it up. Its main competitor is Sublime. Sublime is the primary tool of many programmers. It's fast and aesthetically pleasing. For me it is the default notepad, a code previewer for various languages. When I want to slightly modify or just see a piece of code. Returning again to Bill Gates, not for the last time today, we can install Visual Studio Code. This in turn is my default editor for almost every language. It's where I write 90% of my code. It's lightweight, but powerful. Written almost entirely in TypeScript, it's a kind of JavaScript in the spirit of Ordnung muss sein. Although created by the boys from Redmond. The third way is to smuggle science into entertainment. The Minecraft game will be used for this, and the company that acquired it could be the sponsor of today's episode, as I keep praising their products, Edge TypeScript, Visual Studio Code, and now Minecraft. So Satya Nadella or Bill as you watch. Maybe consider becoming a patron of this channel. We can use Python or just JavaScript in the game and create the world we want with code pure magic. And remember, constant analyzing and comparing tools is procrastination. So install Visual Studio Code or fire up your browser press F12 and get started, you will correct later. Earthlings let the code be with you.